Welcome or welcome back to Novel Idea. My name is Dia and today I have a tag video. I was tagged by Alana Estelle and this is for the love of classics tag. So Alana did an amazing job on this tag and she always has things that she is reading that I have not read yet. She is two out of two for recommendations that I have taken from her and ended up absolutely loving. And one of them has already made my top of 2022. One is on its way of making its top to 2023. So I highly esteem her recommendations. She does an amazing job reviewing uh, individual books. So head over to Alana's channel and check out some of her answers for this because if she said that she likes something, it's a good bet that it's a great book. Okay, so I have my questions and I am going to be shooting off the cuff a little bit. I'm pretty sure I have some answers for some of these kind of already percolating, but there might be a couple that I have to think about a little bit because I didn't write anything down for answers and I didn't go surfing my shelves to pull books off. In fact, most of these I probably don't even own. So I'm trying to leave enough room for everything and without further ado, let's jump in and answer some questions. Uh, I do not know who the original creator of this tag was. I went looking for it, but I couldn't find it. Not in the person that tagged Alana, not in the person that she said she saw it from. So if you created this tag and you are watching, <laughs> please let me know and I will give you credit. Um, so the first question is, why do you read classics and how often do you read them? So I read classics, number one, because I feel like I kind of know what to expect from them. Um, modern day material is much more free with its grading on my sensibilities <laughs> than uh, the classics are. And so that's one of the reasons. But the main reason why I read classics is because I learn so much. I learn language. I learn cadence of speech. I learn history. I learn about etiquette and manners and dress codes and all of that kind of thing. And it all fascinates me. And so that is probably the main reason why I read classics and love them so much. The, as far as how often I read them, I read, I have one on the go almost all the time. It's seldom that I'm not reading a fantasy slash sci-fi, uh, a classic, a middle grade, a nonfiction. Those four are kind of my categories that I stick to and I try to have at least one of them on the go. Sometimes I switch out a middle grade for like a cozy mystery, but for the most part, those are my genres that I and categories that I stick to. So at least, at least one a month and more than likely it's, it's probably more than that. Question two, what period, country or culture have you not read many classics from but would like to? I don't think I've read very many Italian, uh, settings. I've read quite a few Spanish, quite a few French, uh, quite a few Greek and Roman. Um, 
and then of course English. And so I would say maybe Italian, Byzantine. I love ancient. And so if I can get things that are set in Byzantium and like Constantinople and those kinds of settings, I really love that time period. The next question, question number three, is what modern book do you think will be a classic in a hundred years time? I'm sure that what I think is going to be a classic and what other people think is going to be a classic are completely different, but I am going to say A Gentleman in Moscow, I think might be a classic in a hundred years time. Um, My Family and Other Animals, I think might be a classic in a hundred years time. Modern work that I think might be a classic. Yeah, I, I think I'll go with those. I, especially A Gentleman in Moscow. What's the last classic that you read? That would be the one that I'm in the middle of. <laughs> And that is the posthumous memoirs of Bras Kubas by Machado de Assis. And it's a Brazilian author set in Brazil uh, in a small village outside of Rio de Janeiro. And it's being written by the ghost of a very unscrupulous man. (laughs) Question number five is, what is the first classic that you ever read? That would probably be, maybe Witch of Blackbird Pond. That might be one of the first that I read. Um, and we're talking me reading it, not somebody reading it to me. Uh, it might be, could be Winnie the Pooh. I also would say possibly Rudyard Kipling's Just So Stories or Maybe The Secret Garden, which I have up there. (laughs) So yeah, I would say one of those. Those are probably some of the first classics that I read. Yeah, let's go with one of those. What is, number six, what is your favorite book cover? I'm gonna put it up here because I don't actually own my favorite version of this but it's a Jane Eyre cover. There's actually two that I just really love because they kind of give that gothic feel that a lot of covers do not give. And here, I'll give you an example. We've, I've got several copies of Jane Eyre, but a lot of them look like this, like just this sweet, not very attractive woman sitting on the cover so nicely. Um, Or, you know, that doesn't, yeah. So those two covers will be up here and those are my favorite covers of that book. Number seven is, what classic authors do you wish had written more books? Um, Off the top of my head, (laughs) I'm going to say Anne Bronte. So I really wish that she had written more. Um, As far as like young, if I'm talking about young classics, child classics, that I wish someone would have written more, I'm going to go with Minder to Young, which is... the author of Wheel on the School. 
actually has quite a few out, but not all of them have been translated. And I absolutely love, I love, love that story. So I do wish that he had been able to not only write more, but that more would be translated into English for us. Number eight is what is your least favorite classic? I, I have several. <laughs> um, probably the number one though is Dr. Zhivago. I absolutely hate that book. I hate it with passion. It's the only book I've ever thrown in my whole life. <laughs> I got so angry reading that book that I literally threw it across the room. And when I tried to pick it up to read it again, I threw it again. <laughs> so so uh, Dr. Zhivago, um, I also really do not like at all, not even a little bit, Lolita. And I am just as angry at that one. I didn't throw it. I'd grown up a little bit by the time I read that one. Um, I also knew a little bit of what to expect from that one, so that helped. Yeah, let's go with those two. <laughs> what is your favorite translated book is number eight. I have to go with the Brothers Karamazov or Karamazov, and that is by Fyodor Dostoevsky. <laughs> there we go. And um, I can think of other translated works, but that is my favorite Dostoevsky, and it is one that I have read the most out of his works. So I am gonna to have to go with that one. I could also go with The Wheel on the School. <laughs> so I really love that one too. Um, or Heidi. Yeah, there's a lot of translated works that I really love. Um, but we'll go with Brothers Karamazov. Question 10. What is your favorite modern classic published after 1900? Another one that I could have gone with favorite translated is The Little Prince by Anton de saint Zupari. I even love saying his name. The Little Prince. I think it has so much to um, teach people People think that it's a children's work, and I would say that it is simple enough for children, but it was not meant necessarily just for children. And it has so, it has such a big message. And so, yes, okay, I won't, I won't go into it. I've gone into it on other videos. <laughs> okay. What classic literary place would you like to visit? This is question 11. Um, Prince Edward Island or the Maritimes in general over on the Eastern coast of Canada. I would love to visit Corfu and the Greek Isles. Oh, Cranford. Cranford would be fun to visit. Oh yes, yes, yes. Um, I would love to visit Green No. It's a real place. And when I found that out, I was like, what? <laughs> that would be amazing. This question 12 is the first classic you would recommend to a child. Hmm. Well, it kind of depends on the child, but I will say 
think Tarka the Otter is pretty amazing. Uh, Farmer Boy. Uh, there are so many. Number 13, what classics do you think are mistitled? And what would you rename them? I think Age of Innocence is mistitled. <laughs> so let's go with that one since that's the first one that came to mind because there is no innocence about that book. <laughs> um, what would we call it? Weak Moral Code? <laughs> Can you tell? Can you tell I don't really care for it? Um, total Disregard for Virtue. That's a, that's a good title. Total Disregard for Virtue. Total Disregard of Virtue. Let's go with that. <laughs> and finally, question 14. What is your favorite classic that you'd like to recommend to everyone? One of my favorite classics that I would probably recommend, Nicholas Nickleby. Yeah, I think I would probably recommend Charles Dickens' Nicholas Nickleby. I really love that story. And I think it has a little something for everyone to be able to latch onto. It's slightly humorous, it has, um, you know, danger and adventure and family love and family dysfunction and all of that. And it's just wonderful. So I would recommend that one. Okay, that is everything. I need to tag some people. Um, I'm gonna tag people that I know read classics and that I haven't seen do this. I don't know how old this tag is, so if I tag you and you've already done it, please forgive me. Um, I am going to tag Kelly from Kelly Reads A Lot, Courtney at Courtney Reads, Tiffany at Beautiful Minutia, Stephanie at Miss Richards Reads. That's who I'm gonna tag, <laughs> those four. We'll go with those four. Um, yeah, so thank you so much again, Alana, for tagging me. I really appreciate it. Like I said, if you guys have not subscribed to Alana's channel, if you don't watch her individual reviews, she has got sass, she has some serious attitude about things, she does not hold back. It's wonderful. I just love listening to her reviews, besides the fact that they are very well put together. I just really appreciate her. And I hope the people that I have tagged have not done this yet and would like to. All right, everyone. Thanks for joining me.